dating sites. Uh, what do I think of them? And a few points with regards to them. If I look around London and I go on a subway, I think I've, I found at least a dozen dating websites advertising. So it seems that at least in this big city, the industry is booming. People have a lot of pressure in, uh, in, UK, in the UK to succeed in their careers, especially so in London. Uh, very little time. So building a relationship becomes a challenge. Why well, I, I think they have a lot of potential is because of the wideness of choice. I think it's quite limiting to search for a for a person that is remarkably compatible with you. It's limiting yourself to friends of friends, to people you can met, meet at a bar or a club or however else you're allowed to meet people. Even if you do meet such a person who seems compatible with you, who seems attractive, um, there's plenty of questions you would not allow, be allowed to ask because of taboos and politeness and just plain old creepiness. You're not, uh, you wouldn't think to ask until a lot later down in the relationship. But those things are base, basic pieces of information that are quite essential if you want to make a decision. But if you are looking for a, a, a long term relationship, I would imagine there's a long list of things you want to, uh, to check out and you simply can't ask some of them. Uh, so please tell me, my dear um, potential partner, how many children uh, do you want? What is your opinion on finances? Uh, how about lifestyle? Uh, do you save a lot? Do you spend a lot? Mm, where would you like to live? In a big city or a, a small country chateau? What are your values? You know, the, the real values, the ones that you don't possibly would not speak about to, uh, to people. Um, how about your sexuality? Are you able to give and receive pleasure in a masterful way? Um, I would be very interested to know all of that. And if you could please just sign uh, on uh, the form, yes, then we can proceed dating. It doesn't work like that, does it? I met my fiance on eHarmony, uh, believe it or not, and uh, we are quite grateful that the site existed and that uh, we were able to, um, to use it. Uh, we websites have a lot of poten p potential themselves and it's in matching. If they help you not only find a person, but do a basic compatibility match. Uh, there's no perfect set of services out there, at least in my opinion. And uh, personally though, in, in the web websites that I've used in the past, I found OkCupid to be the best because of the questions they've asked you, but I found none who wouldn't stand to be refined. Well, eHarmony, uh, at the time that I used it, which was probably two, three years ago, had a basic personality matching system. They asked you a set of questions and then they supplied you with matches. Uh, I found the process a bit mm, removed because I do not trust and do not think that a personality test is all that is needed. But it is a step in the right direction. I would have liked a little bit more control over which questions and which answers and so on, uh, especially after seeing what OkCupid offers, which is a very long list of questions, as many as you want to answer, about all sorts of stuff. And you specify your answer, the importance that question has for you and the answers you'll accept in a partner. Very good algorithm. Uh, do you smoke? Would you accept a smoker in your uh, relationship? Um, how about, I don't know, a person who is alcoholic? These sorts of things. Uh, yes, by all means, use websites. Um, if you do, there's many things that I would say uh, with regards to increasing your chances, I would say that do, you, I would suggest that you do not rely entirely on the, the website to do the matching and to hold your hand. I would suggest that you take the time to approach it almost like running for a, uh, getting, getting a job. Um, build your profile up in a uh, smart, elegant, professional manner and Know what you're doing, know what you want, know what traits you look for in a partner. Don't sell yourself short and uh, 
ask yourself the very important question that perhaps most people don't ask themselves. If I was to meet my dream partner, would I be the sort of person that my dream partner would adore? Thank you.